Hello guys, this is Momo and today I'm here with you with another trick in Matrix Code and today I would like to show you how to put your own profile, your, uh, the profile that you made by yourself uh, between four rings and uh, prepare it for network command. As you know, the network command is advanced surface modeling uh, commands uh, that uh, allow me to use many rays, infinity number of the rays and infinity number of the profile and then uh, make a complex uh, shape of surface. It's very helpful command, but uh, we don't have uh, we don't have a direct command uh, that uh, same same sweep two that I can put profile on uh, profile on uh, rail or profile placer uh, and then I can constrain it between two rails and then you know done. So you don't have any problem in sweep one and sweep two. But uh, putting um, um, a custom made or um, my, my own profile be, uh, between four rails is difficult but now and after this video is become very easy for you and you can use any kind of profile that you want and then you can use network command to make a complex shape of surface okay so here we go what we need to do the first we want to uh, use a command that uh, we have uh, in in Rhino 5 and also in Rhino 6 and Rhino 7. The common name is uh, cross-section profile that you can find it in uh, uh, you can find it here from two view cross-section profiles. W what does it do? Actually when you click on that you need to choose your rays in order and after that press enter and then you go uh, to one of the parallel reports that here is found and you can start start to make a lines okay so you can use from here to here if you want and then you can use from here to here and let's see what happened actually it make a cross section the interpolated curve cross section uh, between these four rails okay but it's really round it has round shape and the good news is it has history too it means that if i move my rails it will be updated okay so if i uh, move these okay you can see it updates itself i would i wanted to choose this feature to uh, put my own profile uh, along my rails okay so this is my trick first of all you need to make a plane for that okay so you go to surface and then plane plane and then plane okay because the plane still has uh history so if you move it you can see the uh when we move uh when we move the rail the uh, cross-section profile will be updated and then uh, the surface uh, will be updated too so they are connected completely connected together and then what what I need to do is that I need to make create UV curve okay I make it here but uh, yeah that, that's fine no problem so let me move them here so one okay I move there and then two and then three okay so but but this one uh the uv direction is not what exactly i want because this is from left to right but this is from up to down so i control z i go to direction menu uh, I, I use a direction command and then swap uv okay so now i may create uv again and now is what exactly i want okay perfect I change color to gray I don't need these lines anymore okay and then I put it here so in the middle or I put it down for down I put these okay something like that and then for center I use the and then for the top two okay 
perfect. And then I use plain though for these ones. Okay. Now we need to use flow command to flow from here to there. Okay. So flow along surface, flow along the surface. I have to type it or I have to go to transform menu and then flow but flow along surface. Okay, so select the object to flow. This one, okay, this is the object that I want to flow. Okay, press enter. Now, uh, this is a trick. Uh, you need to turn off auto adjust. Why? Because when we change the rails and, uh, you know, um, uh, when we change the rails, uh, this surface will be updated. But this surface that we did uh, um, uh, create UV for that on C plane, uh, they don't have any connection together. They don't have any history. So they didn't update. So for avoiding, for avoiding not to be, you know, messy or uh, any distortion on that, we have to turn off auto adjust no. For you automatically is yes, but I don't want to make it no. Okay, so perfect. So now is the base one and then that. Okay, so we have it. And then again, this one, this one, auto adjust no this is this and then this one and then this one and then this okay perfect so now what i need to do for you know i can hide it i can hide it i can okay let me fix these problems okay before i hide it for example this one it doesn't have any connection okay so what i need to do if you want uh, you don't need to have connections you know you just need to have to be sure that uh you know this is what exactly i want because the network works uh the net network doesn't care that the curves is connected uh, to cross section or not he needs just to know that uh, uh uh, he, he actually he needs to understand how to make uv curves that's it so you don't need to do that okay so here that uh, i can make it a little bit if i want if i want i can make it a little bit you know it's something like that okay so it doesn't care it, it doesn't important now in this case even here you know when you have a profile something like that it doesn't matter you know you can make it just you need to you need to have a profile that you know it's connect to these okay so now in in my, in, in my design i don't have these so as you can see we can do something like that and then for the bottom is okay because it's uh, nearly connected so i can make it a bit smaller or i can move it you know it's okay right and then I can hide all, hide all, but if you do just one time, you will be fast on that now because this is a tutorial. I made it, you know, in a, in a very slow version, hide, hide, and then you can make it hide. Okay. And then let's see what happened. You know, when I move it, you know, it's updating. When I move this. see is updating it's connected even here you know it's connected okay and now you can use that work that's it network has history too so if you want to change it it's updating you know it's i know that maybe some of you say that oh we have the uh, cage edit so we can do with cage edit right we can do it with cage edit but if you do with curves you have super uh, extra nicer you know surface that is controllable you know in any angles and any view you know it's really good so you can do a lot of things when you use this technique you know it's um 
I highly recommend. Ne Creative Network also is fine. I, uh, I'm I, oh, sorry. Uh, I mean that KJD is fine. I use it. You know, it's fine. You know, the problem is just when you do, when you don't have uh, a good. Uh, uh, connection between the profile and race they have a big gap there but it's not a big problem you know actually you can turn on uh, you can show you can say that uh, you just show okay and then you can fix here no problem about that you know you can fix it here just make it a little bit wider and then you can solve your problem okay so in this way uh, rail and profiles is updatable okay you can update it and uh, you don't lose any connection between race and on cross section great okay very good i hope you like it thank you so much have a great day